It's time for a Friday night mailbag. Let's do this. Hi, my name is Frank. It's Friday. That means time to kick back, relax, and talk music. Dear 33ers, how are you doing? Hope you're following channel 33 RPM on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and or Instagram. Links below this video. I'm gonna pull my sweater off and open the mail. Okay, okay, all right. So I got two packages. Uh, this one, I got a pretty good idea. Well, I know one thing that's in here because uh, Seth gave me a rundown. It involves the metal god, Rob Halford, so stick around for that. But this one, I am not sure what it is. This comes all the way from um, Newfoundland. Newfoundland is the only Canadian province I've never visited, so I gotta rectify that and get out to Newfoundland one of these days. It's just so far away from here. It's like, it's like a whole whole other world, but I hear great things about Newfoundland, so I want to check it out. But uh, in the meantime, let's see what I got. It's, um, it's not a record. Okay, what do we have here? You see, it says, uh, Dear Frank, here are some 8-tracks, eight 8-track eight tapes for you since you got a player. Started watching around eight, 8 or 9 months ago. Keep up the good work. Sincerely, Bill Elson. Thank you, Bill. Now, there's an arrow pointing to this. It says YouTube channel. I'm not sure if that means Bill has a YouTube channel, but if he does, I will leave it for you right here, right now. Thanks a lot, Bill. And yes, indeed, I got a surprise 8-track player, which I keep right here uh, in the mail several weeks back. And uh, I'm kind of delving to that whole world of 8-tracks, which is new to me. Um, this video, I'd never used an 8-track player before, and I more than likely embarrassed myself trying it on camera. However, um, it is what it is. Ah, okay, Trooper Hot Shots. Some good old Canadian um, rock here. What year did this come out? 70s, it's a 70s rock. Um, and this is the more popular albums, including the hit, Raise a Little Hell. So this is awesome. Thank you so much. And there is one more in here. The Guess Who Flavors. So Guess Who, that's a hometown band from right here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. They're probably one of the first big bands to make it out of the city in that 60s scene, uh, which also included Neil Young, who went to high school here and then he left and went to the U.S. and found fame and fortune there. And then the Guess Who eventually um, splintered and Randy Bachman formed BTO. But this is not a history lesson. Lesson. So this is um, the Guess Who Flavors. Uh, what was on this one? Dancing Fool. Um, 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 I'm not familiar with a lot. I actually don't own this album on uh, any format, but there you go. I love it, Bill. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to check these out and uh, hope to make my way to your province one of these days. Bill, you rock, man. Thank you. Well, that first one from Bill was a tracks and so was this one as well. But if you're not into a tracks do not tune off because this is something really really unique that's all i will say this came from seth seth is in um iowa usa and this came remarkably fast sometimes there are delays so he says uh here's a note mr 33 uh, please enjoy these custom a tracks i also included a uh, capstan cleaner it is what pulls the tapes across the pinch roller it's important to keep the capstan clean so it maintains tape speed the tape cleaner is the plain black one if desired you can put some rubbing alcohol on the blue scrubbing pad so it cleans even better also these a tracks were all colored by my wife chrissy she lives to help with my weird hobby because at least she gets something out of it so make sure your 8-track player is on program one and let the madness begin awesome man thank you so much you guys are gonna love this oh whoa 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 so chrissy made this wow so this look at this do you recognize that artwork it's from the black sabbath reunion concert back in the late 90s reunion Reunion Part 2, so can I assume Part 1 is in there as well? Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, Lord of This World, Paranoid, the whole track listing on 8-track. So Seth recorded this on 8-track, then his wife made this label. Wow, that's awesome. So this um, must be the cleaner that Seth was referring to in that letter. So 
I will use this for sure. Oh wow, look at this. Have you ever seen anything like this before? This is Black Sabbath The Reunion, part one. They open up that show with war pigs. I'm gonna open this first, but this one is the icing on the cake. This is what he showed me, and this is what I knew was coming. But check this out. Rob Halford, Resurrection on 8-Track. <laughs> I love it. This is, um, I've talked about this album before. Hold on. I have the record I opened up in a recent video. I absolutely love it. And now, we got the matching 8-Track, homemade. Wow, look at this. Rob Halford on 8-Track. How cool is that? The Metal God. If you haven't heard Resurrection, you have to check it out. This is kind of, Rob was gunning to get back in Priest, and this is a total metal assault. It's the best album Judas Priest never made. I've said that before. And I will say it again, absolutely love it. From the bottom of my cold, heavy metal heart, Seth, you rock. I almost forgot to say, thank you, Seth. And thank you, Chrissy, for your amazing artwork. You are indeed a talented woman. Thanks to the both of you. You guys both rock. All right, I'm jumping in here um, with another package I got. I want to put as many of these as I can into one video. This came all the way from New Brunswick on the East Coast of Canada from Tim Durling from Tim's Vinyl, Confe from Tim's Vinyl Confessions YouTube channel. Oh my god, I'm tongue-tied. From Tim's Vinyl Confessions YouTube channel, which I've been watching um, for years. So, um, I have a feeling that this is 8-tracks. More 8-tracks, right? But uh, let's give it an open. So, five. Five 8-tracks. So, um, I'm really enjoying getting these. And I got the 8-track player right here that was given to me last month. It's been getting some good use, checking out some of the stuff. Quick wine break. I actually just finished recording the video on the um, cheap turntable, the Victrola, which is why I have this table set up in the music room. This is not going to be a permanent fixture. So yes, fragile. Awesome. I actually don't have any yes in the collection. What's the big one on here? Runabout, of course. What do we have here? Rush, A Farewell to King, some classic Canadian rock. Do I have this one? I got this on vinyl. That's the only format that I have it on, so that's very cool. Quality Records Limited, Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. Tim, you packed these really well. Queen Live Killers. Love Queen. Who doesn't love Queen? I guess everyone loves Queen nowadays since that Freddie Mercury movie. So that's cool. Queen, Sheer Heart Attack. This is a classic album. Stone Cold Crazy is probably my favorite Queen song. Love it. Thank you, Tim. Finally, we have more Yes. So I had Yes songs, so I owned no Yes prior to this, and I got two. And what was the big one on here? Um, long Distance Runaround, I believe. Anyway, there we go. Tim! Thank you so much. I love it, man. I really appreciate you thinking about me and contributing to my growing 8-track collection. Cheers, buddy. Oh, I'll leave a link to Tim's channel and any other YouTube channels mentioned in this video below this video. All right, dear 33ers, that was a fun mailbag episode. No vinyl, but we had eight tracks. How cool is that? Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope each and every one of you has a fantastic weekend. Until next time, keep on spinning and eight tracking. Oh, wow.